In this video, I'll show you how we can install the cloud panel, which is hosting control panel. It is an open source and freely available. You can install it in few clicks and then you can create a new site, whether it is WordPress, Node.js, Python, PHP, and so on. So what is included in cloud panel? Installation wizard, Cloudflare integration is there, and MySQL in MariaDB can be installed here. It also helps you to secure your web applications or websites by IP and bot blocking. You can have the file manager to access your files and folder through FTP and SSH. You can transfer your files securely. So cloud panel can also be hosted on your own premises. But in this particular tutorial, I'll be installing cloud panel in one of the servers on the cloud. There are various options available. Click here on get started. It will give you various options. Of course, you can install it on AWS, on DigitalOcean, anyone you can have on Hostinger, VPS, you can have it there, Google Cloud Platform. So I'll click on other. Of course, I can also host on premises. I can install it on Proxmox by installing Ubuntu 22.04, 24.04, Debian, and so on. I'll not be choosing right now the Proxmox. So I'll be choosing Vipsy Cloud. So I'll be logging in with my user ID and password. I can see here resources and I can click on server. So it will show me any of the servers that I have. You can click here, add new server, or you can click here plus sign to add any resource. So if I click here, you can see here, I can create a server, create a Kubernetes, create a load balancer, bucket, storage, network, and so on. So I'll be simply creating a new server here. I'll be going for the Ubuntu server. So you can click here, choose version. So right now, 18, 20, and 22 are available. So Cloud Panel also needs either 24 or 22 or Debian 12 or 11. So I'll be going with 22.04. And here I'll be choosing, of course, version 22. I'll be having one simple web server. And then if I need more resources to be added or if I want to upgrade, I'll be upgrading it later. And I'll show you that. First of all, I need to choose the data center location. It all depends on latency. You need to check the latency. I have already checked it. Of course, you need to make sure that wherever the website traffic is going to come from if it is coming mainly from new york or if it is coming from any other location so you need to choose the location that is near to the visitors of the website i'll be mainly doing it for the tutorial i need to choose whatever is near to me so i'll be choosing jordan here and then you can go down here choose a plan category so it all depends on the type of application that you are going to use it for i'll be going for the shared cpu and at the shared CPU, you can see here there are multiple options. One option is that 1 GB RAM and 1 CPU. Of course, you can upgrade it later because this is for tutorial. So for me, this will be fine. And here you can see public IP configuration. I'll be going with IPv4 only and private IP. I'm not going to have any local network right now. So that's why I will be using public. Additional storage is not required. So whatever 10 GB storage is internally available, that is fine. And this will be tutorial for cloud panel. And here, password. So you can have auto generated password. And this will be my SSH password that I'll be keeping it safe. And whether you want to have automatic backup. So now, this price, which is $7.5, it is because of the automatic backup. So if you don't want to have backup, there is no additional cost. I'll be taking care of the backup by myself. Now, everything is fine here. So I'll be clicking on add server now my server is being provisioned so we'll be waiting for this process to complete uh, the server is already ubuntu 22.04 one cpu 10 gb of ssd and one tb is the traffic if i click here on three dots it will show you more options here you can of course power off reset even delete this you can resize of course you can upsize it in case you want to change the memory storage and so on so you can see here that how you want to change the size how many cores of CPU you want to have, how many RAM you want to have, and so on. So depending upon what exactly you want to have, here you can see all other options. The default user is, of course, root, and here is the password. In case you want to change the password, you can do that as well. You can copy this. And here, in case you want to have the console access, which means that you can directly have SSH access here, and then you can enter the password, and you can start working on this. Uh, all the details are here, so I'll not be going into details because we need to install the cloud panel over here. So what we'll do here, I'll just copy the public IP here and I can SSH to it now. So I'll be using PowerShell here. You can, of course, use PuTTY also, whatever SSH client you are using. So I'll be using PowerShell, which is Microsoft native application. So I'll be using SSH and here will be root at the public IP of my server here so this is the public ip i'll click this and it will copy automatically 
and here I'll be entering it enter now the root ID is already there and we know the password here is the password I'll just copy this so I'll be just pasting it here and enter here you can see now I'm logged in update the server sudo apt get update so it will download all the latest packages and repositories and we can do sudo apt get upgrade in case there is any upgrade available so I will do yes before installing any application it is recommended to first of all upgrade the server so that it gets the latest packages we will simply reboot the server to make sure that everything is fine so we'll do sudo reboot now i'm logged in again and what we need to do we need to now install the cloud panel here so as you have already seen the cloud panel documentation which we've had open so here is ubuntu 22.04 and we are on ubuntu 22.04 on our vipc cloud so i'll be going with mariadb 10.6 which is the latest version so if i copy this command it will do complete installation but before doing the installation i need to do few settings here in the vipc server is not right now having any host name this is the default host name it has created we can have its host name settings click this and it will show you the details here you can see add a record to existing domain or subdomain so new host name so you need to enter the fully qualified domain name so that it gets added to your server name so server will be rebooted and ptr host name will be generated i'll do for example cloud.syncrix.com apply confirm yes till the time it gets added to the server so i'll be going to cloudflare and i'll be adding an a record here which will be cloud and in the ipv4 field i'll be simply coming here and copying this ip and paste it over here now my server has the dns name which is cloud.syncrix.com and it is pointing to this particular ip which is provided by vipc and here is my server so i'll be saving this record now save the record the moment i save the record you can see here a new record is created it is dns only and it is cloud.syncrix.com and it is pointing to this so if i go to what's my dns.com cloud.syncrix.com you can see here it is pointing to the ip address which we have just configured i can even access the server again uh, instead of ssh to ip address i can do now cloud.syncrix.com i am now logged in to the cloud.syncrix.com and if i type here host name so it will show me cloud.syncbricks.com so everything is fine but i cannot access cloud.syncbricks.com the reason is because it doesn't have any website on this so how we'll do it we'll of course go back to the documentation of cloud panel and now we are ready to install our cloud panel to this particular server and we are going with the mariadb 10.06 which is the database and other applications will be automatically installed so i'll just copy this complete script and paste it over here so what will happen that it will first of all download the installation script which is install.sh and it will get the key and then it will install the database engine which is mariadb 10.06 and install so we don't need to do anything here we'll just press enter sit and relax it will download the script and it will install everything by itself you don't need to do anything here All right, so download is completed. Now the packages are being installed. It is unpacking and installing everything. So you can see here unpacking cloud panel. So it will install the cloud panel and then I'll come back to you. So let me fast forward this. All right, so it has successfully installed. You can see here that metadata storage is synchronized, database schema is updated successfully, and cloud panel is installed and now you can see it has updated the rules inside the server and here you can see now cloud panel is now ready and it can be accessed from this particular url of course we have the public ip also if i try to access this using public ip with the 8443 so i'm able to access this of course right now there is no ssl certificate it is fine so i'm able to access from here also and if i go to cloud panel cloud.syncpix.com https 
8443 and you can see here that I'm able to access the cloud panel from here also. So I'll not be accessing using this. I'll be accessing simply using DNS. Enter the user details here. I agree to the term and create user. You can see here cloud panel is installed. There is no site right now. You can go here into admin area and there are various options which are available. So what you need to do here, here you can see the cloud panel custom domain. So we already created custom domain which is cloud.syncbricks.com. So I'll be copying this and here I'll paste it. Save this. Our custom domain is cloud.syncbricks.com. So we don't need to access using 8443 now. I can directly access this now. It will have the SSL certificate also. Here you can see all the details of the server, operating system, host name, public IP, CPU, and RAM. So cloud panel is now ready. In admin area, you can see all of the details. The event log will be here. The instances which are running right now, you can see here right now, MySQL is running, Nginx server is running, and PHP 7.1, 7.2, and all these PHPs are running, and Varnish cache is running, and Redis cache. These are both caching tools. And settings, you can of course see here, this is your masquerade address. This is your public IP address. In case you want to change this, you can do that as well. Backups, so where you want to backup, whether you want to backup on Google Drive, you can even backup to Google Drive. On backend, it is using rclone to do the backup. Uh, and even you can use SFTP using SSH, you can backup the sites to your external storage. You can use custom R clone configuration. So all this is R clone configuration. Go with backup to the Google Drive. So that will help you to backup your sites directly on the Google Drive, including your database and including your site files. So all of these files can be stored here. This is your cloud panel server. So your free web hosting control panel. I'll be changing it to dark mode now. And then in next video, we will start installing the web applications. So see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.